Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this shawl you will need a weight 3 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So this is the yarn I used, it's Creative Cotton DK from Rico Design. It's a weight 3 cotton yarn. I used about 8 balls to make this shawl. So the shawl measures 80 inches by 16 inches. If you want to make it longer, just add more chains, but make sure that you chain in multiples of 11 plus five. So you're going to begin by making a chain of 247. I'm going to demonstrate on a smaller sample. So for me, I'm going to chain 49, but you will chain 247. For row one, we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, and then we're going to double crochet into each chain to the end. For row two, chain three, and then turn your work. This chain three will count as your first double crochet. So next we're going to do two more double crochets. So all together we're going to have three double crochets. Then chain three, skip two stitches and then make four treble crochets. To make a treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook into that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over and pull through two. So you're going to make three more treble crochets. Then chain three, skip two stitches and then make three double crochet. So you're going to repeat that, chain three, skip two, and then do four treble crochets. Then you're going to chain three, skip two, and then make three double crochets. 
and you're going to repeat that all the way across next you're going to chain three skip two then do four treble crochets chain three skip two and then make three double crochets and you're going to repeat that all the way across so here I'm just going to show you how to end the row I've just finished my three double crochet so chain three skip two then make four treble crochet then chain three skip two and then make three double crochet so at the beginning of every row you should start with three double crochet and then you should always end your row with three double crochet For row three, chain three, and then turn your work. Then make two double crochet. Don't forget that chain three counts as your first double crochet. So go ahead and make two more double crochet. chain three then single crochet into each of the next four treble crochets chain three then double crochet on top of the next three double crochet So you're going to repeat that, we're going to chain three, single crochet on top of the next four treble crochet. Chain three and then double crochet on top of the next three double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across next you're going to chain three single crochet on top of the next four treble crochet then chain three and then double crochet on top of the next three double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across Here I am towards the end of the row. I've just made my four single crochet. So next chain three and then double crochet into each of the last three double crochet.
rows four and five are the same so chain three turn your work make two double crochet chain three single crochet into each of the next four single crochet chain three and double crochet into each of the next three double crochet so you're going to repeat that you're going to chain three single crochet into each of the next four single crochet then chain three and then double crochet into each of the next three double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across Here I am at the end of the row, I've just made my four single crochet, so next chain three and then place one double crochet on top of the last three double crochet. So go ahead and repeat this row one more time for row five. For row 6, chain 3, turn your work and then make 2 double crochet. Chain 3, then make 4 treble crochets on top of the next 4 single crochets. chain three double crochet on top of the next three double crochet So you're going to repeat that, we're going to chain three, treble crochet on top of the next four single crochet,
then chain three and double crochet on top of the next three double crochet. So repeat that all the way across. Here I am at the end of the row, I've just made my last four treble crochet. So chain three and then place one double crochet on top of the last three double crochet. For row 7, chain 3, turn your work. Now we're just going to double crochet all the way across. So make a double crochet on top of the next two double crochet. When you come to your chain 3 space, we're going to place two double crochets into that space. Then place a double crochet on top of the next four treble crochets. Place two double crochet into your chain three space. And then just continue placing double crochets all the way across until you reach the end of the row. Here I am at the end of the row, so place two double crochets into that chain three space. And then place one double crochet on top of the next three double crochet. So you're going to repeat rows 2 to 7 a further 5 more times. And that's it. All you have to do at the end is just weave in all your ends and you're good to go. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.